Today's video is sponsored by Black Gold Compost Company. I want to thank the good people over at Black Gold for the generous donate, donation of all this beautiful black cow cow manure that uh, we use in our video today. And uh, it's made a tremendous success in our garden. I've been using black cow for uh, many years, ever since 1980, and it's always made a tremendous difference in my garden. And I've been very pleased with our product. I highly recommend it. Thank you, Black Gold, for sponsoring our channel. Well, good morning, friends. It's springtime. It's time to get them tomatoes in. We'll be right back after the break. <laughs> Well, welcome back. Nothing says welcome to spring like a tomato, is it? <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we're going to be planting our first tomatoes in our brand new uh, tomato garden here in our new homestead, and I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, today we're going to be planting a, uh, a hybrid tomato, indeterminate, called Beef Master. I haven't planted this one before. I've grown the, the beef steak, but this is apparently an improved type of beef steak. These Plants are large and meaty. They get they're great uh, they're great for sandwich um, tomatoes like tomato sandwiches. <laughs> the fruits get 18 to 32 ounces, so that's a quite a nice size um, tomato. And you know I don't have my greenhouse ready quite yet, so I'm, I'm still having to get that put together. So I had I had to buy my plants you know, as starter plants, but there's nothing wrong with that. And I, I just got these at Lowe's, they're Bonnie plants. They're, they're a good quality plant. So if you wanna go get you some quick tomatoes ready to plant, check out Lowe's or any nursery around, local nursery in your area, everybody's got tomato plants and, and a pretty, you know, wide variety selection to choose from. But anyway, these are some good, uh, good plants for your garden for this spring. and. Uh, I think you might want to give these a try. If you've never grown tomatoes at home, you're really missing out. But today, um, I wanted to share with you how I grow these. I've already got my holes dug and they're ready to go. And I'm gonna be using a container mix, my normal container mix that I always use over in the garden. I'm just gonna use it in here as well. And uh, there's we, we have a video on our, uh, our home st uh, on our uh, YouTube channel on how to make container mix at home. Just use that, and that's what I'm going to be using in here. And really, it's just three equal parts of you know con um, a container soil, potting mix with um, peat moss, and of course black cow. And black cow is really great for your tomatoes. So get the black cow; it's worth it. And um, in the hole when I uh, what I use for fertilizer is I like to use fish. It's a fantastic organic fertilizer, far better than any fertilizer I've ever used anywhere. So me and Nancy, we go out and we catch a whole bunch of shad with the cast net and we chop them up and put them in the freezer and any trash fish or heads or guts or anything that we get when we're fishing, we save them. We put them in the freezer. So when spring gets here or fall, when I need to plant some plants like this, I pull out a piece of fish, I put a, pe a three or four pieces of fish in the bottom of the hole. I'm gonna cover that with lime. That'll mask the smell of that fish when it's starting to decay. So no animals will come over here and dig up your plant trying to get to that fish. Now, I like to use the lime in these because, you know, blossom end rot's a big problem with tomatoes. But, so if you put that calcium and the magnesium in there, you know, by using the lime, that's really where they're deficient. They're deficient in those two. So put that lime in the hole with it and be generous with it. Give them a good, good dose of it. And that'll keep you from getting that uh, blossom end rot. And uh, in addition to the fish, I'm gonna mix in bone meal I want to give another boost to phosphorus and as well as blood meal. And I'll get that mixed in the soil with it. And um, that's what I add to get my plant going. Now at the end, I'll, um, I also take um, a couple of tablespoons of Epsom salt, which is great, you know, magnesium source. I put that in there as well to try to help give this thing a fighting chance against that blossom end rot. So let's get started. And, 
get these uh, beautiful little uh, beef master hybrid tomatoes indeterminate tomatoes off and running so let's get started <laughs> Well, we got all four of our uh, uh, Beef Master tomato plants installed and off and running. I'm watering them in right now to get them a good soaking. I hope that uh, when you noticed, I hope that you noticed when I was planting these tomatoes how deep I actually planted them. I took the pot, I took the plant out of the pot, and then I gave it another three or four inches deep above the top of that plant when it came out of the pot. So that plant was good and deep. And the reason for that is, is these are indeterminate. And if I put it down deep, it'll grow more roots up that stem a little bit and give it just a lot better um, healthy overall plant. So you wanna plant your indeterminate tomatoes deep, deeper than the cup they come in. A couple of three inches deeper than the cup they come in, okay? And uh, you notice that I was putting the bamboo stakes around them as well. Uh, the reason for that is support. It helps them and the wind. And you know, in the days ahead when they're still young and trying to struggle to get going, the wind comes along, heavy storms, and it, it can tear them up. So I put the bamboo stakes in there. I trap the stem with three or four bamboo stakes that gives it support in that wind and storms. And if you, you can find those um, bamboo stakes at any nursery center or 
I think Lowe's may have them. If you can't find them anywhere, look on our about page at our uh, Amazon storefront link, and we have them on there for you. They're only 24 inches long, uh, pieces of bamboo, nothing, nothing fancy. But anyway, we've got them off and running, got them planted, and we'll be back in the days ahead and watch the progress of these all the way till we make a mater sandwich. So we'll see you soon. Well, our beef master tomatoes are really getting somewhere now. I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, you can see they've already passed the first rung on the uh, on my tomato cage, and that's usually how I measure the progress: is the first rung, second rung, and third rung. Um, they're they're already getting some blooms on here. I'm real happy with that. It's um, April the 10th today, so they've been in the ground mm, about a month. So they're um, really starting to get some traction got some little yellow blooms starting on them now so we'll see a lot of progress in this row of tomatoes here in the next month or so i'm looking forward to them tomato sandwiches so we'll be back soon well good morning our beef master tomatoes are doing pretty good they've already passed the, the second rung on the uh, tomato racks and almost almost out the top. So that's a, a really good uh, progress that they've made in the last two or three weeks. If you you can look right down here and you can see a whole bunch of them big old green ones starting to come in now. So we're getting pretty excited. We had a little bit of problem with the hornworms um, about two or three weeks ago, but uh, we got on them with the uh, Thuricide BT and we got that under control. Um, and the chickens helped by eating every one we found. <laughs> but anyway, they've, um, they've, they've bounced back from the hornworms. They're doing pretty healthy now, and uh, the green tomatoes are starting to get some bulk on them. There's, there's a couple of them in there starting to look pretty good size, so we're, we're getting pretty excited about that tomato sandwich coming up soon. So anyway, we'll be back in the days ahead. We'll take another look at these things. And when they're, re when they're ready to harvest, then they'll be, you know, over the top and full of tomatoes at that point. And we'll get an update we you and uh, we'll harvest some together. So we'll see you back here in about three or four weeks. See you soon. Well, our beef master tomatoes are finally starting to put on some fruit and they're just starting to turn a little red. They're not quite ready yet, but let me grab one just to... Here, yeah, this one, this one's not quite ready yet, but it's getting there. Anyway, here's a uh, a beef master tomato. We'll be uh, getting some of these off of these four racks the rest of the summer, and uh, they will they will um, continue to produce all summer because they are indeterminate. So I hope that this might be a, a video that might encourage you to give tomatoes a shot in your garden this spring. So this may be one you want to try. It's a hybrid, grows uh, pretty big. Some of the fruits are much larger than this, but to me, this is just right for a tomato sandwich. So anyway, we want to uh, thank you for watching. I hope our video brought a smile to your face and some joy to your heart. And so until me and Nancy see you next time, we want to always thank the Lord for everything he gives us, especially tomato sandwiches. So until we see you again, always remember, by his hands we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day. Mm.